We're on day two. Day one yesterday, we started to get the team in to mark out the site. Today, we're now moving into the delivery of the equipment. So we've got in, lots of equipment coming from all over the country, uh, being delivered today, being received by Perry and his team, who are the logistics guys. And we're ground loading that equipment to get sufficient equipment on the ground to then start the build. And that should start within the next 24 hours. So left in everything we do, we've got to be conforming to regulations. And when we're looking at something such as a big build uh, that involves the, the general public and populace, uh, we have to ensure that, that every safety factor is considered, whether that is through the, the personal safety, through the build, through the, um, the vaccination process, uh, right through from their, their arrival and the start of their journey and right through until they depart. It's been exciting. Uh, at times and a bit challenging. Uh, to, we were given quite short notice to uh, get this prepared, but the, currently the suppliers that we've been dealing with have been wonderful and we're reacting very quickly because they all want to be part of it. It's all about the flow. The flow of the customers that are going to be vaccinated, the flow of the staff and the workforce to manage those people, and the flow of logistics and also I would say and and waste in and out. So we have to think about those kind of flows. And if you get those flows absolutely right, then, then it works as a plan. Because we're going to be managing an operation that's going to be running 12 hours a day, seven days a week. So it's quite intense. Within Dorset Healthcare, we're very used to delivering um, immunisation programmes. So we already deliver flu vaccinations and school immunisations. Um, so it's something that we are used to doing, but this is on a scale that we've never had to do before. It will be a really safe experience for people, and we hope that it's, it's quite an enjoyable, uplifting experience. You'll come into the building, you'll be assessed by a registered healthcare professional, who will take a little bit of history about you, you'll then move through into a vaccination area, you'll receive your vaccine, and then we just ask people to wait for 15 minutes afterwards just to make sure that they're fit and well and they've got no side effects from having the jab. You're free to go and carry on. It's you know, a well-tried and, and tested model that other parts of the country are already delivering, so as I say, we've learned from them and we'll use all that knowledge to make it a really good experience for people. I think it's going to be quite daunting for people. It's very new, they won't have had the vaccination initially, um, but we're going to have lots of volunteers, lots of marshals, lots of people showing them the way, talking to them, keeping them at ease. We're going to make this feel as personable as possible in a massive environment. We're going to start with a system and that system will adapt and flow as we learn it and as we use it and as we find out what works best for our staff and our population coming through here. So it's going to be very fluid and we're going to make lots of changes very quickly that the public probably won't notice but hopefully our staff will finally start to see that rhythm and that process coming into play that they feel really happy with. This is great collaborative working. It's a real Dorset system approach. So, you know, we are an integrated care system and that includes lots of partners. So everybody's coming together, they're all playing their part, bringing their little bit of expertise to make it work. I think it's so exciting. It's uh, amazing to see this come to light. We've, there's been a massive group of us working on this. It's amazing actually how many people have stepped forward and I can sort that for you. And that's a great approach when you're, you, know, you normally have to negotiate that and there's usually a cost involved, but actually if people are just willing to turn their hand and help out. It's the most important thing that I will have ever done in my 32 years of nursing career. Um, this is going to save more lives than anything I can have done by myself and um, the colleagues around me as well. Um, it's just such an exciting place to be. Um, and to actually make this a reality for our, our patients and our population.